What's up, my human made family, my storm cowboys? Welcome back to a new video. It feels good to keep dropping these videos every week, every other day. Just keep on blessing y'all with some dope shit. As I told y'all, I'm sticking true to what I said. I'm gonna keep pushing this, these series that I got going on. So today's series is gonna be the archive. Yes, it's finally coming towards the end of the month. I'm sorry, it's finally coming. So we got the archive right now. And then the next video I'm gonna do um, sub collection. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the um, by design and time by the end of this month, but it's gonna come y'all, it's gonna come. So don't worry, I'm gonna take care of y'all. But like, comment, subscribe down below. Greatly appreciate that. Cause uh, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll to a thousand and I'm trying to get there and I'm gonna get there. With y'all help, I'll greatly appreciate it. Also follow me on Instagram at mac11.exe. Go do that. Link down below in the description if y'all wanna follow me on Instagram. Feel free to hit me up, I will respond. You can ask anybody, I will respond to you. Um, I don't feel like I'm too good not to respond, but it's just fun interacting with y'all. So. I will respond if y'all hit me up in the DM. If y'all have any questions or just wanna chop it up, feel free to follow me on Instagram. But again, today is about the archive. So the archive, again, if you don't know, if you haven't watched my video um, about what I plan on doing this year on my channel, I set some goals for myself uh, to create more content, different content to, you know, have a different variety of content for y'all to watch, not just human made, but this is a human made video. This is gonna be something a little bit different, something fun and new. Uh, I haven't seen anybody do this before on YouTube. What I'm doing is like, not, like what I'm really doing. But yeah, we're just gonna go into the past and check out some old human made stuff. We'll just talk about it and let you all know how I feel about like what I'm looking at. And you all can like chime in in the comment section, let me know what y'all feel about some of the pieces that, that I'm looking at and talking about. And if y'all feel like y'all see something dope, y'all like to drop it down below, we have a conversation or just hit me up in the DM on Instagram and we just talk about it there. Wherever y'all wanna talk to me at, feel, like, feel free to um, drop a comment or whatever down below and just start up a discussion. But anyway, enough talking, let's get right into the video. This is gonna be the first video of the archive. Let's jump into it. All right, so we gonna go back in time and check out some dope shit. So my boy, um, Bait for Day gave me this idea. Well, he didn't really get an idea, but he gave me this website. He like, yo, go check out the old human made stuff. If you wanna go do it, here's the website. So the website is web.archive.org. So you can go to any website, just type in the website name and you just go back in time, just pick the year, month, and date that you wanna check out from that website to see the, like to see what they had on their website back then. So I'm like, oh shit, let me check out Human Made and see what they had back in the day on the things that I missed out on. So now I have a chance to go back in time and check out some things that they had and hopefully see if I find some things that I like and then, you know, see if I can find it and see if I can buy it. If not, it's whatever. But, so we're gonna get into June 14th, 2016. We're just gonna go back, what, mm, five years? Yeah, we're gonna go back five years and check out what they had dropped on this date. So let's get right into it. And uh, this is gonna be pretty fun. I can't wait to see what they got. I haven't checked it out yet. I'm telling you, I have not checked out what they have on this website yet. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So let's go. All right, so I'm gonna go to the online store. Yeah. All right, so. All right, we're gonna start with t-shirts. And I just noticed too, they nigga really stuck to the, um, like with these type of graphics to show like the different um, categories and sections. That's pretty dope. So I'm gonna start with t-shirts. And another thing I'm gonna tell y'all before we begin, some of the t-shirts are not gonna pop up. We got broken links, some will. Also, if I click on it and go to like the product page of that item, it's not gonna load. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just zoom in so y'all can see it a little bit better. If that makes sense, you'll see, let's go. All right, yeah, these links are broken. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna zoom in a few. All right, so we're gonna start with this. So these shirts are a little bit cheaper than what they are right now, <laughs> as I can see. But uh, I seen these two shirts before on eBay. So that, yeah, these have these are, um like the duck slash mallard shirts. And from what I can see, it says human made and the rest is kind of hard to read. So they have like a um, black tee and a white tee of the same version of these shirts. And I seen, these, again, I seen these on eBay. They, they had like smaller sizes, so they really didn't have like 2XL. And I don't think they have XL. I'll, I don't believe they had. But um, yeah, I think these shirts are pretty dope. They're hard to find and they're gonna be kind of, and I can't see, really see myself going back and buying some of these shirts because 
it's just too small. Like, again, it's a Japanese brand, and I feel like the shirt size back then was kind of small for me to go back and try to buy some of their older stuff. But again, um, there, here we go. So it's a like border over print. I can't really tell what it is, but it says human. Yeah, of course it says human made. It looked like a guy standing there pointing something. And it's like two ducks, I guess. Like I guess you could say two ducks right here on the left and right side. And another similar tee. It just had like a few icons on here and some some script on here. And it had like a three-pack tee for a good price. Like, and another tee with like some box of crayons, like Crayola crayons. And it just says human made. Is it human made? Yeah, I've seen this tee before. Um, and I've seen this one before too. So it had like the, that's pretty dope how they did this one. So I'm guessing what they, oh, how the hell did they do this? Cause they got like the human made behind like the stripes. So did they print first and then went on? I don't know. I don't know how they did it, but it's pretty cool how they did that. So let's see, we're on page two. And again, if I was trying to click on it, let me show you. Let me show you what I mean when I click on it. It won't really give us a, like, it just won't show you a better view. Yeah, again, they only had small to XL, so they didn't have two XLs at the time. So if I try to go back in and get some older stuff, I would probably have to get an XL. And here's their, like, the sizing and stuff like that. Yeah, see, the links are broken. Even if I click on them, I don't think they're going to pop up. If they do pop up, that'd be nice. But I don't think it's gonna pop up. Uh, I don't feel like waiting. But anyway, I seen this tee before. It's like a, I think they did like did like an updated version of this tee because I've seen it before without like the uh, like the inside like stroke. Like I guess you say inside stroke of the um, dry alls. So I think I've seen this before, like an updated version. And then they have a long sleeve um, border print again. It seems like the print is behind like the stripes and it looks like a kid, like a carrier, like he's like a mail carrier running with his like mail bag. And it says human made in the arc. And I really can't see what this says, like the at the bottom arc. But that's a pretty clean T. Um yeah, you know, so I think this T probably like one fifteen to one twenty like dollars. So that's what they got so far for that. So that's for the t shirts. And now we are gonna get into the shirts right here like the button ups and stuff like that all right so here are the button ups so i can't really just i can't really can't see what's on these on the left and right pocket and on this polo it looks i can't really tell what that is i think this is like that little meerkat thing whatever that damn thing is um this looks like more of a polar bear print like on the it looks like it's on like printed on the torso really can't tell what that is and it's like a plaid print woodsman shirt uh just like a normal white T well long sleeve I normally would see and a chambray military shirt. Did I say that right? Chambray? I think I said that right. And it's like different patches like on this um like a jean. I'm terrible. Again, I I'm a fucking casual, y'all, so don't get mad if I don't know a certain material. I'm a casual. Let me live. Gee. But yeah, this is one of the T's that they have. Well, he's saying T's. Um, button ups that they have uh, chambray. I think that's how you say it, chambray. All right, so that's it for that. We're gonna go to the sweat, like sweatshirts and hoodies. All right, let's see what y'all got. What y'all got? It's take forever. Again, this site may not have all the images, so anyway. I seen like a different, all right, so we're gonna get into the football sweat, uh, football sweat gray. And it just had like four stripes on the left or right arm. Um, well, left and right sleeve. And the next one, I seen this one before. Yeah, I seen, yeah, 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 yeah. I seen this one before. I seen both of these before. 25,000 yen. Seen this one before. Pretty normal. Yeah, I could tell the difference. Like, this print looks so damn different than what you would see now on Human Made. It looked like it got more of a, like a plastisol, like a heavier print on this hoodie. And you have like a also the brown version of the gray version, uh, and this one's pretty cool. I like this one. That green again, of course. Green is one of my favorite colors. Drop more greens, drop more greens, please, Nigo. And this one, just like a basic uh, sweater, they got like a zipper up under the chest. It looked like a zipper. Yep, this is a zipper up under the chest. Again, it's hard to see if I'm trying to click on the product. 
Like, well, if I try to click on it, the images won't show up, which sucks. I wish it showed, but it don't. Damn. It sucks. But yeah, it's not going to pop up, y'all. Look at that. It's not going to pop up. All right, that's it for the sweats. Now I'm going to go to the jeans. So these are prisoner shorts. I've seen Nigo wear it. I've seen Nigo wear these before. He had like a, I think like a, he got like a whole like, um, set, I believe, that goes with these shorts. Like a, um, like a shirt that go with it, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so he got some slim black denims. Can't go wrong with that. Some more slim denim, straight denim, and wide denim. Okay, so he gave me a variety. I would probably go more with the slim version because I like my clothes fitted. Like to my body type. But I am trying to branch out very soon and try like different styles of pants. Hopefully my body look right in them. Hopefully. Hopefully it looks right. Alright, so that's it for the denim shorts. I fuck with it. But I seen Nigo wear those before. I can't remember where I seen him wear those. Alright, so the jackets. Let's get into the jacket. Yep. Uh, I know I seen it before. Again. Yeah, so I guess these will go with the shorts. With the prisoner jacket, we'll go with the prisoner shorts. I wish I could see what's on the back of this, but again, it won't load up and it sucks. Because I know Levi, I don't know Levi. I know Nigo's a big fan of like vintage denim. He's a big fan of like, um, he's a big fan of Levi's. Damn, I can't, I just, I'm, I got a stupid brain fart right now, but any denim line. Nigga over just fuck with him. Mainly Levi's. He's a big fan of Levi's. I was watching one of his um interviews. He had with Complex and he was showing some fire, like some old vintage Levi fire. But uh yeah, we keep going. So he got a coach jacket, seen this one before, but I never seen this one. This is clean. This is clean. This had that um this remember like that high school, like collegiate. But I wish I could see more of it. I wonder if they have like print on the back. Damn, I wish the website would let me like click on it and, see, and actually see this for what it is. And another jumper jacket, dope. I like it, but I want to see more. But unfortunately, I can't. Now I'm pretty sure this is And this, mm, this is this is probably like a band right here. This is 102,000 yen. So that's probably like between 1k to 1.3k somewhere in that range i think i can't i'm not for sure i'm just going off of what i was kind of sort of know how to convert yen to usd but yeah dope ass jacket and we're gonna go to what else goods all right what you got what you got all right so pen i wish he would do more of these because i would like to have some pens so i can put on my hats and shit like that so this is pretty dope. Nigo drop more pens. If you watch this, Nigo, I doubt you watch. I doubt you're watching it. But somebody you know that me that may be watching this, related to mention to Nigo. Make all make all of us happy at the end of the day. Another pen, a square version of that, just a different version. Tote bag, a MacBook envelope. So I guess I go a little sleeve and put your little MacBook in. Uh, PFS and human made mug. Yeah, this is a little character that I've been seeing, like one of the animals he used to use back during this time but he don't use this no more. So I guess Nigo, he use it and then just walk away from it and then come back to it probably later. Hopefully he come back with this style because I really like that old vintage look that he used to do like this. All right, so he got the pig as well. Polar bear, oh, that's throwback, that's throwback. And he just got the regular gifts for futuristic teenagers. The belt, yeah, he just came out. Yeah, if y'all remember, I just did a video on one of these belts. So it's like a different variation of it. He had like the light tan, um, beige and a black version. Do this one. Please do a black version. Please do a black version of this belt. Please. Some stickers. Do more of these, please, Nigo. Please. Look at this. $7.56. So they're probably like $9. That's like $9 US, USD sticker pack. Do this again. Bring more of these out. And I have to cop this. I have to cop that damn duck mallet. I need that. I need it, Nigo. We need, well, he got more coming. He got more coming, but I gotta find Somewhere online to buy this because I already got one. I need the rest. There's a lot more I need to get. Oh my lord. Have y'all seen that before? I never seen this before. I never seen this before. Ever. And this shit is hard. This is hard. I think this might be one of my favorite um 
like paper mache displays that he came out with. This is hard. If y'all know I can get this, I already know how much it's gonna cost. I already know how much it's gonna cost resale. If y'all can guess how much it's gonna cost resale, just let me know y'all thoughts down below how much y'all think this this right here gonna cost. Cause I already know this is gonna be like a grip. All right, so some more boxers, plain and simple. Come out with the bulldog, man. Please come out. I say move away from the pig, bring the bulldog back, and bring back that little whatever that. Bring back little, this little dude. Bring back that little dude. Get rid of the pig. I'm not a fan of the pig. Just bring back this little dude and the bulldog. And my mom calling me. I have to call her back later. Sorry, mom. I'm recording. I know you're going to be seeing this. Oh, I said your video. Blah, 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 blah. It's so fun. Chill, mom. Thank you for watching. Just let me finish the video and I'll call you back. Anyway, paper mache display Coca Cola. I want to see this. I wish I could have seen this. I'll Google it later. I may put it on the screen. If I can find this, I'll put it up on the screen. Next, page two, human made ad paper. So what is this exact? So this is like a display, like one of those cutout displays that you would see like at the movies or something, if you get what I'm saying. What is this? If y'all know, let me know. Just, just let me know what this is. Let's see. All right, so that's it for the goods. Let's go back home. And we're gonna get to shoes. And I think it's gonna be the last one. Okay, Stan Smith Nego. Okay, I never seen, I seen these before. But I never seen these before. I never seen these. These are dope. I'm just not a fan of the shell toe, but if I would have, like, if I ever had a chance to get these, I wouldn't wear them. I just put them on display. But these are just dope. These are hard. These are dope. What do you like with some light blue jeans or some dark denim? Can't go wrong with those. These are alright. These are alright. But I like these a little bit more. You joke. Yeah, these are hard. These are hard. And these are hard too. These will be on display. Nothing else. I would not wear these. And what else we got? Let's see what else we got before we end. Other brands. Only thing that's important. Yeah, that's yeah, we've seen this stuff. So I guess that is it for the human made. Uh, well, I guess that's it for the archive. I'm gonna do a lot more because it's a lot. As I can see up here, 2012. So I got a lot more content coming with the archive. If y'all have any other, uh, well, I'm just stick with human made for right now. But yeah, as you can see, I got a long. <laughs> I have a long way to go and I got a lot of content to cover over this. So hopefully we find some more like grill, old school pieces from human made that we, I'm pretty sure we probably can't even find these anywhere. These are gonna be hard to find, especially that little bulldog. That's gonna be hard to find. But anyway, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I got more comments. Stay tuned for the sub collection video that is coming. So I'm gonna record this right out there. I'm gonna record the sub collection right after this, so I'm gonna have the exact same thing on. So I'm gonna be like, bro, why you wear the same thing that you wore in the other video? Because I'll record it right after this one. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe down below. I'll catch y'all next video. Peace.